Over inland sea waters we pitch and we rock on the blue Great Lakes waters of Roland. Through her locks and her docks sail the lake boats on down, singing where do you come from and where? singing some songs about the Bay of Milwaukee itself and about the Great Lakes and pretty much anything else I think about. But one of the things people ask me is, is how I became a sailor. And actually, um, my dad was in the Navy. And when I was a little kid, uh, we used to spend our summers working on a farm down in Kenosha, uh, which was my parents' idea of summer camp, is to... Uh, <laughs> make us go work on a farm. I think I probably learned a lot more doing that, though, than if I would have been at a regular summer camp. But anyhow, after we got done doing things like haying and before maybe we did the milking, uh, my dad would take us down to Lake Michigan, down, by, down in Kenosha, and we'd go swimming and cool off. And he'd stand there and he'd point out the different ships out there on the, on the lake. And it occurred to me that if you're a farmer working in your field all summer, you might look at a, a tall ship like the Dennis Sullivan and go, boy, when I get done working on this farm, I want to go sail around the world. That's freedom. And at the same time, there's a sailor at the rail of the ship looking into those green hills of Wisconsin and going, you know, when I get off this darn ship, I'm going to get me a farm. That's freedom. So it all depends on where you're standing when you go down to the shorelines. It was down by the water's edge That our eyes met As you gazed at my dry world From your sea dark and wet I stood on the sand As you leaned at the rail and you longed for a farm, and I wished I could sail. I saw myself sailing the wild open main. You saw yourself reaping the fields rich with grain. And we lived for a moment in each other's shoes. Tired of our old lives, 
wanting a new. And it's either way, pull away, bend your back, draw your pay. You raise your sails, and I'll raise my hay. You dream of green fields while I dream of the sea. And we think ourselves prisoners, while the other is free. I saw myself standing, late watch on the bow. You saw yourself satisfied, working the plow. For my grass must look green, when you're pulling an oar. And your water seems bluer from here on the shore. And it's heave away, haul away, bend your back, draw your pay. You raise your sails, I'll raise my hay. You dream of green fields while I dream of the sea. And we think ourselves prisoners while the other is free. Traveling, I love my home. Your roots hold no earth, but I swim like a stone. So we've each found our place in the choices life gives. Left to dream of how happy the other must live. So it's heave away, haul away. Bend your back, draw your pay. You raise your sails, and I'll raise my hay. You dream of green fields while I dream of the sea. And we think ourselves prisoners while the other is free. It was down by the water's edge. That our eyes met as you gazed at my dry world from your sea dark and wet. I stood on the sand as you leaned at the rail, and you longed for a farm, and I wished I could sail. So that's a song about how a farm kid winds up being a sailor on the Great Lakes. Well, one of the places that I get to sail when I'm on the Great Lakes is on the tall ship Dennis Sullivan. And uh, you there at St. John's on the Lake, uh, not last summer and unfortunately not this summer, but in, in past years, you probably looked out your window and you saw this beautiful tall ship sailing around the Bay of Milwaukee. Uh, that ship was built 21 years ago now, and uh, it's, it's basically laid up for maintenance this summer because of COVID. Uh, they couldn't get a season together. <clears throat> but look for it again next summer. Uh, we'll be out there sailing on the lakes. So this is a song about the Dennis Sullivan, and for those of you who don't know, Dennis Sullivan was a very famous sea captain who came from Milwaukee and uh, this is around the 1860s, 1870s and he uh, was captain of a ship called the Moonlight which is one of the ships that the Dennis Sullivan is patterned after so he was probably one of the best known captains from the city of Milwaukee. <laughs> When the Dennis 
soldiers kill the slave Roll on your great flex roll A promise to the future was made Oh, roll on your great flex roll That people once again could see Roll on your great flex roll A schooner built in Milwaukee That's the place for me. Sailing on the Sullivan, now on the in the sea. They named her for a captain bold, roll on your great flex roll, who sailed the lakes in days of old. Oh, roll on your great flex roll, now it's been a hundred years or more. Roll on your great flex roll, the schooner grew up. sailing on the Dennis Sullivan come on down next year and we'll take you out into the Bay of Milwaukee well of course um, right now it's fairly calm out there um, really not quite enough wind for sailing yet today um, and this is a song it's actually uh, an East Coast uh, Gloucester whaling song and I'm gonna play it on this instrument called a mountain banjo and the same way as farmers always complain about the rain either there's too much or too little you'll find sailors complain about the wind the same way there's either too much or too little rarely is it just right so here we go with the whaling song it's advertised in Boston New York and Buffalo Hardy sailors wailing for to go, singing blowy winds in the morning, blowy winds I ho, haul away your running gear and blow, boys, blow. They'll tell you all the clipper ships are running in and out, they say you'll take 500 whales before you're six months out, singing blowy winds in the morning, blowy winds I ho.
right now the winds aren't blowing all that hard out on the Bay of Milwaukee, but um, that's what got ships like the Dennis Sullivan here to the Milwaukee. And that's actually how many, many of our ancestors first got here to Milwaukee if they were coming in the uh, early and mid and even later 1800s. The roads weren't all that good and, and it wasn't until the early 1850s that we actually had a railroad connection to Milwaukee. So most of the people prior at least to the 1850s came to Milwaukee by ship. And uh, to get us here, the wind had to blow and some the three first people to come here um, and establish the city of Milwaukee and I don't know how well this will show up, but this is a, a chart. I'm going to get up closer. This is a chart of the Bay of Milwaukee back in the 1800s, and it shows that there are three rivers that come together and flow into the Bay of Milwaukee. That's the Milwaukee River, the Menominee River, and the Kinnikinick River. And it was because we had three rivers all coming together and flowing into the bay that made this the ideal harbor on the west side of Lake Michigan. And so there certainly would have been a city here because it was a very good harbor for these ships. And until the railroads came along, Milwaukee was bigger than Chicago. And this chart shows the three fathers of Milwaukee, Solomon Juno, Byron Kilborn, and George Walker. So I got a little song about these folks. And it's called Milwaukee River. A schooner ship rolled up the river, blow the winds blow. She sailed into Milwaukee's harbor, blow the stormy winds blow. And who do you think was there to greet her, blow the winds blow? Was shocked to you, the old fur trader, blow the stormy winds blow. Blow the winds and blow forever, blow the winds blow. And blow me to Milwaukee's harbor. Blow the stormy winds blow. Now who do you think was sang this tune? Or blow the winds blow. Was that town father Solomon Juno? Blow the stormy winds blow. And where do you think that hope was steering? Blow the winds blow. To Byron Kilborn's west and clear. And blow the stormy winds blow. ships while work is being done are called shanties and uh, there's kind of a popular resurgence of shanties right now because some some much younger folks than me uh, recorded them and put them up on on computer and so uh, now you know people in their teens and 20s are singing sea shanties the same way I have been doing for over 50 years. Well, one of the things, there's an old, an old expression called learning the ropes. And, and actually, this is not a rope. This is a line. Uh, a rope is, on ships, 
a rope is something like that's still wound up and waiting to have a job. But when you cut a length off of the spool of rope, so that's now got two ends, now it's a line because you're going to give it a job to do. So all of the rope on a ship is referred to as lines because each thing has a job. And uh, these are sea shanties done a cappella, meaning without accompaniment, while different work on a ship is being done. And one of the things you might do is haul up the sails, pulling on a line called a halyard, and if it's one of the front sails on the boat, the ones we call the jib, it would be a short haul. So you might be singing something that goes like this. He's poor old Reuben, Ranzo, Ranzo me boys, Ranzo. He's poor old Reuben, Ranzo, Ranzo me boys, Ranzo. Now Ranzo was no sailor. Ranzo me boys, Ranzo, he was a New York tailor. Ranzo me boys, Ranzo, they set him holy stone in. Ranzo me boys, Ranzo, because he's always moaning. Ranzo me boys, Ranzo, they gave him five and thirty. Ranzo me boys, Ranzo, because he was so dirty. Ranzo me boys, Ranzo, then the captain's daughter Susie. Ranzo me boys, Ranzo, she asked her dad for mercy. Ranzo me boys, Ranzo, now she taught, <laughs> she took him to her quarters. Ranzo me boys, Ranzo, she gave him wine and water. Ranzo me boys, Ranzo, she gave him an education. Ranzo me boys, Ranzo, she taught him navigation. Ranzo me boys, Ranzo, now Ranzo he's no sailor. Ranzo me boys, Ranzo, he's the captain of the whaler. Ranzo me boys, Ranzo, and now wherever them whale ship fish go, Ranzo me boys, Ranzo, he's the meanest bugger on the go. Ranzo me boys, Ranzo. He lay. <coughs> so that's a song you might use while hauling up a sail. Um, another thing you might want to do is be hauling on lines, but if it's a very heavy line, you might turn around and walk with the line because your legs are stronger than your arms are. You can pull better with your legs if you're walking away from the work. And uh, a Drunken Sailor is a good example of a stamp and go. You all know that one. Uh, this is another stamp and go shanty where you would be marching along with the line hauling with your legs. <clears throat> A little bit of rum, it wouldn't do us any harm. A little bit of rum, it wouldn't do us any harm. A little bit of rum, it wouldn't do us any harm. And we'll all hold on together. We'll roll the old chariot along. We'll roll the old chariot along. We'll roll the old. Chariot along, and we'll all hold on together. A plate of Irish stew, it wouldn't do us any harm. A plate of Irish stew, it wouldn't do us any harm. Oh, a plate of Irish stew, it wouldn't do us any harm. And we'll all hang on together. We'll roll the old chariot along, we'll roll the old. Chariot along, we'll roll the old chariot along, and we'll all hang on together. Well, a night on the town wouldn't do us any harm. A night on the town, it wouldn't do us any harm. A night on the town, it wouldn't do us any harm. And we'll all hang on together. We'll roll the old. 
chariot along we'll roll the old chariot along we'll roll the old chariot along and we'll all hang on together oh roll in the hay wouldn't do us any harm a roll in the hay wouldn't do us any harm a roll in the hay it wouldn't do us any harm and we'll all hang on together we'll roll the old chariot along we'll roll the old chariot along we'll roll the old chariot along and we'll all hang on together <clears throat> that's probably enough verses of that song now the thing about these songs is that they lasted as long as the work lasted so if whatever you were hauling would take longer than the four verses I just did you just keep on making enough verses until the work was done well let's see um, if you're going to learn the ropes one of the things you really do need to have learned is how to tie different knots that sailors use and uh, one of the ones that practically everybody knows from Boy Scouts or just life is this one and this is called on land at least a square knot now on a ship we call this a reef knot because we use this to tie the sails up and I wouldn't trust my life to this knot because if you need to untie the knot quickly it's gone just like that um, so there are various knots for various jobs the same way as we have uh, various songs for the different jobs and one of the knots you learn goes like this and a boy scout a girl scout or a sailor would know that as a bowline knot which is sort of a corruption of the word bow line because if you were tying your ship up to the dock you would tie a loop like this which which doesn't close you don't want a slip knot that would close up this doesn't close so you can drop it over a piling and it'll hold your ship to the dock without slipping and the advantage of this is that you can untie it very quickly well this knot comes in handy all over the boat um, and for one thing uh, this is probably the knot that's used to tie up the sails so that when you're hauling the sails up doing a halyard uh, raising rain sails you are hauling on the bowline so there's a song that goes haul on the bowline the ship is a rolling haul on the bowline the bowline haul on the bowline the lines are a groaning Haul on the bowl and the bowl and haul on the bowl and the captain is a growl and haul on the bowl and the bowl and haul and you keep on going like that until you get all those sails up in the air. <clears throat> well, uh, one more thing you might want to do is if a storm is coming and your sails are up, you might have to climb up there and haul the sails up. Now this would be not so much on a schooner like the Den Sullivan, but more on the square rigs that you see in the pirate movies. We'd have to climb up the mast, reach down, grab the sail, and haul it up. And for that you do something like Tommy Way hey, 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 hey. We'll pay Patty Doyle for his boots. To me way hey, 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 hey. We'll all throw mud at the cook. To me, way. We'll all shave under our chins. To me, way. We'll all drink whiskey and gin. To me, way. We'll pay Patty Doyle for his boots. Then you tie off the sail. Oh my, well, learning the ropes working on a ship is one of the jobs one of the other things sailors are really good at is looking at the weather and uh, the same as farmers you've probably heard that expression uh, uh, red sky in morning sailor take warning red sky at night sailors delight and that actually 
makes a lot of sense. Uh, when there's a ring around the moon, that usually means there's probably rain or moisture coming because those are ice crystals that are being picked up by in cirrus clouds uh, around the moon. So there are all these different um, old sayings that sailors have that teach you what to look for in the weather. And I'm going to sing a song that uses a bunch of these playing it on an instrument we call a dulcimer. Now one of my favorite weather expressions for sailors, because it means it's a nice day, is wild goose, wild goose, going out to sea, all fine weather will be. And you know, that's probably true because animals like the geese, they know when a storm is coming, they're going to hunker down. If it's a nice day like today, the geese are probably found flying out to sea. Um, so <laughs> if you see some geese flying out to the east, means it's a nice day. Concertinas, uh, for, you know, since probably the 1800s, but this is a Native American courting flute, and this is the kind of flute that was played right here in Milwaukee and in Wisconsin long before any, any of us got here. Um, usually this, play, this flute is just 
play it improvisationally uh, because this is a corning flute. Young men would play it for their sweethearts um, because as we all know, young men are not good about talking about their feelings. So that's why we make music instead. So anyhow, this is a Native American corning flute, but this particular flute happens to have the right notes for a very old sea song that you might, you probably know this one. And this would be done, this song would be done while you're marching around a capstan raising the anchor to come home. Shenandoah. Well, a lot of these songs uh, I learned from old, old sailors. And so this is an old sailor song called Fiddler's Green. Uh, and that's, that's one of the things that, that people know half of the story. Uh, you know, when a sailor uh, has not been, not had too good of a life, when he dies, he goes to Davy Jones's locker, right? Well, the opposite of that, if the sailor has led a good and upstanding life, he goes to a place called Fiddler's Green. As I walk down the dockside one evening so fair To view the still water and breathe the salt air I spied an old fisherman singing this song Say it, take me away, boys, me time is not long. Wrap me up in me oilskins and jumper. No more on the docks I'll be seen. Just tell me, old shipmates, I'm taking a trip, mates. I'll see you one day on Fiddler's Green. Below, making tea for the 
that's kind of a silly song. I got another silly song. Well, sort of, yes or no. Um, one of the things our good old Lake Michigan is famous for is uh, providing us with fish fries. And I don't know if the fish fry started in Milwaukee, but we certainly have embraced it. And part of the reason is because back in the day, uh, there were a lot, a lot of lake perch that they used for, um, for the fish fries. And we actually had a fishing community down on Jones Island. Um, it was a Kashubian settlement. And the Kashubs were, it's a region in the north of Poland now, but it was kind of its own separate community. Uh, they lived, <laughs> they lived on the Hell Peninsula, that's what it was called, um, on the Baltic Sea. And a lot of those people came here, immigrated to Milwaukee, and they settled on Jones Island and became fishermen, which is what they were doing back in the old country. They looked out at that big old lake and, you know, it's, it's big and it's cold and it's full of fish and they went, hey, let's go fishing. Well, the men did the fishing, but the, the women folk and the grandmas and the kids would mend the nets and uh, process the fish. And I remember as a kid on the south side of Milwaukee, uh, a grandma with a fish cart selling fish and Back, back on the south side, we had a name for all of the grandmas. We called them Grandma Babushka, because they all wore a babushka under their head. So this is a song about Grandma Babushka. <laughs> Who lives out there on Jones Island? Grandma Babushka, Milwaukee Bay Lake Fish again. Grandma Babushka. Who hangs the fish in row so neat? Sells the chubs out on the street. in World War One, so um, my family's been doing this for a long time, and this is an honor song for, well, all of our veterans, but in particular, the sailors among us. All you seafaring men, you deep water rovers, you East India sailors, you brave Great Lakes men, all the 
Viking Raiders I'm old Cape Horn Traders Your grandsons salute you You seafaring men From Gloucester to Biscay Down to Sao Paulo From Bath to New Brunswick from Dundee to Dover And half the world over You were either arriving Or sailing away So here's to the shades Of you deep water dreamers Here's to the memories you left for us then. You sons of John Cabot, you Portuguese sailors, old Dundee whalers, you seafaring men. We wish you calm weather. And a fair wind behind you. We wish you safe passage wherever you be. We wish you snug harbor at the end of your journey. We wish you contentment, you men of the sea. your sailors, you brave Great Lakes men, you old Viking Raiders, and old Cape Horn Traders, your grandson salute you, you seafaring men, all your grandson salute you. Well, thank you very much for having me uh, sing today about the Great Lakes and about being a sailor. And uh, as most sailors out on the lake look for, I think from St. John's you can see the, the main gap lighthouse, which is that white lighthouse uh, out where the, big, where the big boats come through. And this is a song by a group called Schooner Fair. And it's what every sailor feels as he sees the lighthouse at his hometown. I see the light across the bay. I see the light not far away. And I hear music spinning round. I'm getting close to my hometown. So mother won't. Make my bed. I see the lighthouse dead ahead. I see the light. I'm coming round. I'm coming back to my hometown. Some years ago, out on my own, I set a course for parts unknown, leaving behind both friend and Needing to find what I've come to know I watched the shoreline fade away And bid farewell to this old day Though it's been years and years since then My heart has brought me home again I see the light across the bay I see the light 
not far away. And I hear music all around. I'm getting close to my hometown. So mother, won't you make my bed? I see the lighthouse dead ahead. I see the light. I'm coming round. I'm coming back to my hometown. Of all the places that I could go, she's still the fairest place I know. She works the seas and tills the farms and holds her children in her arms. No place you know a prouder past. Here comes the future full at last. Here comes that beacon across the sky. And when I hold my head up high, I see the light across the bay. I see the light not far away. And I hear I'm getting close to my hometown. So, mother, won't you make my bed? I see the lighthouse dead ahead. I see the light. I'm coming round. I'm coming back to my hometown. Snug Harbors, everyone. I'm David H.B. Drake, and uh, singing for the folks at St. John's Home on the Lake. Uh, hope you have a, a very fine day. Thank you much.